All right, here's a little uh, video on how I build these bridges. Now I have used Rick's products and I love them and I'll use more. Girder beams and the handrails, the 50s style and the modern, also the road surfaces. For longer bridges and custom bridges, and I have begun to make some of my own by cutting, I cut some legs. Also use some of theirs, the kit bash. I either use the square tubing or the solid. Styrene. First, cut a piece of styrene, the width of your bridge, roughly, close to it. And depending on how thick you want it. Just use enough to work with uh, and go as thick as you want, depending on your scale. I glue the beams on the bottom of the uh, strip that I cut after I lay them out. Now, if this was a railroad bridge, you'd ha obviously have more beams closer together on center. Um, then, if I want sidewalks, I just glue some flat strip Half on and half off the original strip. And then I finish the edge with either the right angle 90 degree or the T style. And here's one that's in a, a gray concrete color. That I think I'm gonna leave it like that because I have the uh, road stickers on it already. Once the beams are all glued and dried, the legs that are pre-made that I've already made up and they're dry. Of different shapes, types, and sizes. Here's some from the kit. And um, I uh, glue those on. I'll lay them out accordingly and then glue those on. And then I prime it and paint it with the concrete paint. Here's one in concrete paint. Here's one that has not been primed. Either prime it using this gray. Some of the beams were painted this pale green. Zero, 71.095. So that's how I build my custom bridges. Scratch build for my model railroad project. Thanks for watching, have a good one.